Hi, I'm James Frayner. Let's talk about the topic, it's, Is God's Way Best? How Living Righteously Leads to a Successful Life. Our scripture is Proverbs 4, 18 to 19, which says, The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they're stumbling over. I have so much to say about this. I had to ask the Lord what I could share. Psalm 33 says, For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. He loves whatever is just and good. The unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. Our Proverbs scripture says the wicked have no idea what they're stumbling over. Let me give you an example. Someone at school or at work does you a major wrong. They pull, they pull you down, they embarrass you, however that looks to you. If you're not living God's way, you focus on your shame and embarrassment and then think negative thoughts toward the other person. Let's rewind and look at this like an individual living God's way. Let's look at how to feel about ourselves and how to view others. Psalm 147, 11 says, the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. So even when I'm feeling that pinch of shame, I flood my mind with thanksgiving that God takes pleasure in me. That's my part of it. What about the other person? What does God say, what, what does God's way of living say about that he, she, who just threw you under the bus? Well, Ephesians 6.12 says, our fight is not against people on earth, but against spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly world. Regardless of how much malice was involved, a person behaving as your enemy is not your enemy because no human person is your enemy. That's liberating. When you're living God's way, you can't touch this. You can't touch this. How does that look in a heated real life situation? Psalm 118 says, out of my distress, I called on the Lord and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. On to my real life situation. I manage a team of software engineers. In addition to building and updating software, my team is the last resort of the support department. One time, a support manager was unhappy with how I handled a situation. I removed a bug from a release or, or something. I, I don't remember the specifics. He yelled at me for what seemed like two or three minutes, probably 45 seconds, a long time. He was holding a sheaf of papers in his hand. As he tells me off, he's gesticulating with the paper and another thing it wasn't a discussion moment when he finished he just walked off the whole time this is happening I held my composure uh, I did not try to defend myself I just let him talk I didn't interrupt him this man wasn't my enemy and he needed to get something off his chest he wasn't my enemy. Well, there was a QA person there watching this whole interaction. She was cowed. Um, even though she was not involved, I could tell she was upset. This was a workplace where things were usually quite civil. After the support manager left, she looked over at me and she said, I don't know how you did that. Did what? I said. How you just stood there and took it. 
At this point, I should have said, Jesus, 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 but I did not. I, um, I don't remember what I said, uh, but what left an impression was what I did, how I behaved. So living God's way, you not only do well in the heat of conflict, you model for others how to live a good life. Not practical enough? How about raising kids? A central scripture to parenting is in John 14, when Jesus was talking with, with his disciples. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father. That is all we need. Jesus replied, I've been with you a long time now. Do you still not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. So why do you say, show us the Father? Jesus said, I am the way and the truth. So the truth is a person, not a rule sheet. When you give your children a set of rules, they're little lawyers. They go to work litigating and they find loopholes and exploit them. Inspired by this scripture, I told my children, I am the rule. What I say and do is right. So sometimes an activity is yes, and other times an activity is no. Why? I am the rule. The consistency is not in following a rule. The consistency is in a person. Isn't this what Moses told Pharaoh? Tell him, I am sent you. This trains your children to seek Father God for what's right and what's wrong. Isn't that what you want for them? So I'm talking about living God's way leads to success. What's, what's the definition of success here? How do, how do we define it? So one day, close to bedtime, I was goofing around with Liz. And at one point she took her empty mug and she put it up to her mouth. Now, don't try this at home. I'm going to demonstrate here. And, and she just says, there's no more tea. Um, in case you're wondering, uh, no alcohol was involved. Just two fun adults. Uh, it sounded funny. You had to be there. Um, but I thought about how the Lord has blessed me by putting laughter into my home. One of the fruits of living righteously leading to a successful life is the removal of fear, bitterness, unforgiveness, all the things that suppress and resist open divine flow of relationships and personality. And this made me think of superconductivity. When electricity flows through a copper wire, it's electrons, it's electrons moving through the wire. Because of something called resistance, not all the current makes it to the other side of the wire. Electron, electrons collide with copper atoms and heat is generated. This is, this is resistance. Because so much energy is lost through resistance, those giant transmission lines you see that bring electricity into your neighborhood have to use tricks like stepping up the voltage uh, to a higher, higher level and and then, of course, they step it back down to 120 before it goes into your home. Um, and they use those tricks to reduce current loss through resistance. This is copper wire that we have in our house normally. And these are normal light bulbs. So we're at 12 volts. That's only a tenth of the voltage we use in our homes. It's not very bright. That's what we get from the copper wire. Watch what happens when we run the same 12 volts through the superconductor. In a superconductor, resistance is zero. No current is lost to resistance. Experimenters have created superconductive loops where they set current going around it like a train going around a Christmas tree. When they check the current years later, years, there's no measurable loss of current. Think about it. There are unique technologies only possible with superconductors, such as MRI medical imaging machines and other things I don't have time to go into. 
Superconductors require special conditions, mostly extreme cold. Well, relationships go superconductive when both parties live God's way. I've no longer got resistance in my relationship with my bride Liz. If we offend one another, we forgive immediately. Or believe the best and the offense just rolls off like Teflon, a substance discovered while looking for safer refrigerant gases. Um, but with you, everything's gas. But that's another story. I have multiple superconductive relationships at church. So we get things done expeditiously and we have a laugh along the way. We enjoy each other. Now it's not that Liz and I have arrived, as any good marriage counselor will tell you, maintaining a successful marriage requires both parties are actively working on that. Do you want a superconductive marriage? Live God's way and he'll drain off stress, depression, selfishness. Let that resistance drop to zero. Live God's way and reap divine success. It's been a privilege sharing with you how God's way is best uh, to make this your own. Um, in the discussion that follows, go over these questions together. Thank you so much. Have a good night.